The most indented footprint that Eddie left was in the movies. James Brown, why aren't you concerned about Nelson Mandela? Hey, we take care of our people. You let the Italians worry about Nelson Mandela. After the iconic 48 hours, he starred in another banger, Trading Places. Thereafter, he was the sole leading role in the unforgettable Beverly Hills Cop, which became the highest grossing film in 1984 and the highest R-rated film of all time till 2003. He released The Golden Child, which did fairly well, and yet another banger, Beverly Hills Cop 2, in 1987. It's quite strange when you learn that Eddie Murphy wrote, directed, and starred in a movie with his comedy heroes Richard Pryor and Red Fox, yet he is just 62 years old. Anyways, the movie Harlem Nights was theatrically released in 1989. Speaking of icons, Eddie was also fairly close to the one and only Michael Jackson. They had a spontaneous closeness to them and surprisingly created a comedy duo that is comparable to that of Key and Peel. Eddie even starred in a Michael Jackson video, the classic Remember the Time. Eddie Murphy solidified his name in history with his grand performance on Shrek as Donkey. Shrek, a classic banger, hangs as one of the highest grossing animated films. The franchise is also commandable, with Shrek 2 being more of a banger than the first one. Moreover, plenty of sources claim that Eddie stole the show and became the center of attention. With that said, Eddie left a mark on the movies not only on the upside, but also on the way downside. He starred in a movie that is one of the biggest losses in Hollywood, The Adventures of Pluto Nash, which had a budget of $110 million and only crossed a mere $7 million. He also released the movie A Thousand Words, which has a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. In an interview, he jokingly said his new goal is to make a movie that just doesn't suck.